I am Jim Collison, and this is the Clifton Strengths Podcast Season 3, recorded on February 2nd, 2024. In this Clifton Strengths podcast series, we'll look at how to feel more energized and motivated at work one theme at a time. And today's theme is ideation. If you're listening live, I'd love to have you join us in chat. If you're listening after the fact, you can always send us an email, coaching at gallup.com. Dr. Jacqueline Robinson is our host today. She works as a senior learning and development consultant and and probably the best one we have. And join me for season one and two of the Clifton Strengths podcast, where we looked at well-being at work, the book, and the Clifton Strengths role-based reports. One theme at a time, Jacqueline, always great to be with you. It's my favorite part Thank of Friday. You. Welcome back. I know, mine too. Happy Friday. We are looking at and talking about the season of bringing energy uh, to work. By the way, this podcast has been, a, these recordings that we're doing, I know most mm-hmm. people are listening to this podcast, they bringing me energy every week. So thank you for, for doing that for me. But today we're talking about ideation and uh, let's start with the individual first. What are yes. some ways an individual with ideation can feel more energized by focusing on their basic needs? Building out that think time. There's nothing like the think time to ideate. So um, more specifically, consider what ideas you have to carry out that um, can support you with the expectations and, and priorities that are expected of you in the workplace. So that think time can help you just go, ooh, how do I want to do this? What could be a new way or a more innovative way potentially of doing this? And then another thing that I would add is what's worked for you in the past to help you stick to your plan of action? Um, Those ideas might just be flourishing, but where do you drill down? Um, What's helped ground you in the past? I know some people with ideation high will use post-it notes as they're thinking about their responsibilities or their ideas and to-dos, and then they can always be arranged. Um, Some might write in a journal. Um, some prefer a, a visual aid of the ideas and the expectations and how those are going to map together. Um, so I would add that to the back end because after the think time, there has to be the the action and what has been a support system to you in the past to make sure that you're getting that work done. And I, I do think the physical act of ideating mm-hmm. can bring energy and motivation all by itself without it necessarily having to lead to a successful conclusion. Now, we yes. like them to, right? We like them yes. to. And I think that's yes. the process of that. But but I know I have found, for me, sometimes it gives me more ideating. Bring, this is not for everybody. Ideating brings more energy than it takes away. And I get I get done with one of those sessions. And I'm like, man, I'm ready to go. Let's go do some stuff, right? Or, Fire it up. Let's yes. get some stuff done. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so it, it can, from a basic needs standpoint, it can be just the act of doing it sometimes, giving myself the opportunity to do it yeah. regardless of the outcome. Now, Clifton Strengths is a, is, a, is a framework that we point towards success. And so we want to continue mm-hmm. to point that to successful outcomes. But one of those successful outcomes may just be energizing you by doing what yep. you're best at and giving you the way. I love, uh, I want to, I want to spend a minute though. You talked about post-it notes. This idea of then maybe using something else to harvest. I don't know if that's the right word, mm-hmm. but to harvest the best or to give it. I, I, I want to do this. I have high communication, so I want to talk about my ideas with others. What else? Let's give a yes. few more. What, what have you seen work for me if I want to do that? I want to talk through it. What, what else have you seen work, I think, in the past with ideation? I've seen um, whiteboarding. Ooh, yeah. uh, the whiteboarding sessions. And that's... We'll get into manager to team, but um, let's just throw ideas up there on a board or someone with ideations putting their ideas on a board. And I think you brought up two great points. Ide- ideating itself and having that think time is energizing and is enough and is productive and motivating. And then when you couple that with, I have to have key, I have a deadline coming up or I have key responsibilities or priorities that need to be carried out, that ideation phase is still going to be very pertinent to you. But then when we're thinking about the tactical piece, this is where it might be the whiteboard, um, having that thought partnership, like you mentioned, Jim, with communication, post-it notes, so that now the energy is there, but it's just, how do I want to roll this out? 
and it looks different for everybody based on those mm -hmm. other themes that surround it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ideate around your ideation. This is one of those exactly. kinds of things, right? How, how can I make it the most Funny productive? Funny but true. <laughs> yeah, right on, right on. Yeah. I mean, you should be really good at this if you have high, high ideation of thinking through. I, I've even um, taken a moment to say, I don't have time to properly think through it now. I'm mm -hmm. going to, and I, I'm going to be driving. I actually did this yesterday. I'm going to, I drove to Lincoln yesterday. It's an hour drive. I'm going to save that for that drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when I get in the car, I'm going to get in a spot and then I'm going to turn on the ideation and start thinking through. And for me, it was actually, I was teaching an hour seminar class down there. And so I was that I'm going to run through that. I'm going to run through simulations of that class. I'm going to run through several of them. I'm going to start here and then I'm going to run a simulation. Now, then, then I'm going to start here and I'm going to run a simulation. Yeah. And it just gave me some things to think about when I got there. It didn't happen like anything like I thought it would, <laughs> but it was still a <laughs> great exercise. To do right? it. <laughs> yeah, it was still a great exercise to, to run through. So someone, so an individual with high uh, um, ideation, how can they feel more energized by focusing on their individual strengths and development? We've talked about it, but carving out that time and space each day, if possible, at the time you feel most creative. And I know, you know, research wise, they say generally the mornings is the most creative time for individuals. But having that special time of day where you feel most creative, um, that can be a great place to start dreaming up new ways of completing your work or maybe innovative solutions and possibilities for a customer you have yeah. um, or a solution for the team you know, just colleague to colleague. Um, as an example, I had someone on my team that came up with, an ex it, he has ideation high, he came up with an Excel sheet uh, and he put this whole template together that would simplify our lives. So um, that special time of day, that's gonna give you the mental boost needed to then carry out the rest of the day's work. And you actually teased that out earlier, Jim, <laughs> just saying, I get more motivated just by having those ideas. That's yeah. it, it's that think time. But when is it right for you? When is it best? You know, morning, I love that. I, I love being intentional in the having the self awareness to say, I am most productive with my ideation here, whatever that mm -hmm. is. Doesn't mm -hmm. need to be, not everybody's morning, not everybody's evening, not, yeah. might be right before bed. It might be, but knowing like, hey, what situations can I put myself in where I can take advantage of this or use this in a way that's productive for me? Mm -hmm. When is that best? Right. Well, how does that work for? I love that. I love that awareness. Um, as we think about uh, sometimes ideation tends to be a me theme. In other words, we think about it in the context of me ideating. When we think uh -huh. about it in the context of we ideating ideation, what what is an individual with ideation? How can they feel more energized by building partnerships, finding purpose in their role? We're going to talk about the manager here in a second, but when you think about mm -hmm. those partnerships and the we, talk a little bit about that. We, someone high in ideation, um, you know, people just kind of gravitate towards you. They, they want that new and fresh and creative perspective on issues. Um, think about when colleagues are seeking your creative brain the most, your ideas the most. Um, pay attention then to those times when they are coming to you for ideas, when you're most thrilled you're most jazzed up and excited and you leave the conversation just feeling highly energized and, and you know, purpose-driven, like, oh, I just contributed something special. And then the next time you talk to your manager, maybe you can discuss those opportunities related to those idea generating sessions. Maybe there's other opportunities for you to kind of plug and play. Um, if it's related to a specific topic, you might now become that informal or formal subject matter expert that can be the idea generator. So uh, it, it might actually help tease out a little bit of your development as well when you're thinking about where you get the most energy from your ideas. Your, your, ideas your thoughts make me think of this idea bank idea of like, as I'm working with individuals and I'm getting their thoughts, their input, their, uh, their ideas, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to build a bank. And so we may not use these today, but mm -hmm. this may be a situation where we've had these ideas. I'm writing them down, capturing them, writing them in a podcast or mm -hmm. saying them in a podcast and building this bank of ideas that I may not use today, but I'll come back. I'll come back to at some point and say, you know, I, like it. I was thinking through this. I was having this conversation with Vince Cerf 
I, I had the privilege of meeting oh. Vent and actually spending time with him. What you know, he was gem. one of the inventors of the internet and, and is a good friend of Gallup. And and I loved to to pick his brain. He, you know, mm-hmm. we we he and I talked a little bit about cryptocurrency back in the day, and he gave me his thoughts, and I got to ideate, and he told me some things. I go back to that conversation all the time that to help me just think through some things. So keep yeah. it in a bank. They're, ne- they're never wasted. I think sometimes we think if we don't use them today, they're wasted. No, 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 no. They're still good ideas or they mm-hmm. might be, they might be terrible, but they might still be good. And, and, uh, and maybe a bank is appropriate. Let's talk about the manager. How can a manager with ideation support others and their basic needs? Um, well, as a manager, if you notice a resource need is missing for the team, what ideas do you have for a, a workaround solution? What ideas does your team have? So seek out those opportunities to come together and brainstorm on firstly a quick fix for the short for the short term. Um, and then a new and improved solution for the long term. No resources, no worky. <laughs> the work is getting done. <laughs> huh. It's like we have a question about that in our engagement. Interesting. Survey. Huh. Yeah. Interesting how that, <laughs> that works together. How can a manager with ideation help others feel? Uh, I'm interested. I'm going to listen carefully on this. How can a manager with ideation help others feel seen, heard, and valued as an individual? Um, when someone is on the team and they have a goal or a challenge or maybe they're seeking a new outcome, you really help them feel seen, heard, and valued when you have this theme high by working with them to come up with new ideas or solutions. So you could even take it an extra step and ask the person, what ideas or solutions do you already have in mind before you you dive in with your own? Um, for a couple of reasons, because that's going to empower them and generate a lot of excitement for the both of you. For them, because they've come up with the idea and they're like, oh, okay, I've had someone that was listening to me. They supported me and let me kind of think it out. And then you'll likely light up because you're seeing their own light bulbs go off. Um, So that could be a way to, before taking it into the me and sharing your own ideas, kind of lending your your ideas out there to say, but what do you have? What ideas do you have? I'm listening. I'm here for you. It's like you wrote that with me in mind. Cause like, I want to just share ideas. Yeah. I should, I should ask, what have you thought about? Right. Yeah. What a great question for someone high with ideation. When we think about others or managers thinking about others, the we side of this mm-hmm. to just insert that one. Well, what have you already thought about? Mm-hmm. Like, give me some things you're thinking about and leading out with that. Uh, yeah. I think that leads to the next question of how can a manager with ideation build trust, inspire, and deepen team collaboration and community? Some more thoughts on that? Yeah, there might be times when you see connections in the work that the team is doing that they don't yet see. So consider sharing out how their work is creating inspiration and hope to um, either internal or external customers, depending on what your team does. And then using your imagination, maybe there's even a fun platform or a team retreat or a way you can think up to share that information, to share those connections. So not only are they gaining a deeper understanding of, you know, what is, but they're having fun while doing it. Um, And just as an example of what this has looked like, um, I teased out I was working with the manager high ideation before that whiteboarded. He and his team were in the middle of a busy season. He wanted to keep their morale high. So he used a whiteboard and said, let's talk through our team wins together. And they wrote down everything that they'd accomplished in the past four weeks. And they filled up the entire whiteboard, he said. He had a creative name for it, which I can't remember, (laughs) Um, for this whole idea generating meeting. But that really boosted their morale for the next four to six weeks of work they had. And um, they realized how far they've come and the impact that they're creating. Mm creative way instead of just sitting around a table and and saying hey this is what is those with ideation you all tend to have a really creative mind for how you can make it fun Mm -hmm. while you're sharing out Mm -hmm. let's wrap it with this final question how can a manager with ideation support the growth of each team member maybe asking how you can support or share ideas and pathways um for how they can develop in the company through their current role or other opportunities that that might exist. So what do they want to do? Where do they need your support? 
um, you can make those connections for them in terms of how they can maybe take the role they're in and take it to the next level or maybe even move laterally into a different department. Yeah, I also also think as you're saying that it makes me think of of using it to help the team help itself a, as a team. In other words, let me let's bounce, let's let's start much like mm -hmm. we use sometimes we use high woo in communication in group settings to get like we used to do these table events where you'd have 10 around a table. We strategically place woo in communication at each table to make sure the discussion got going, right? At least <laughs> somebody said something at some point, but using that ideation, maybe strategically in team settings to think about intentionally growth in, mm -hmm. in those teams, right? I like that. Those conversations, those ideas for growth, how as a team can we grow? And then allowing that conversation to yes. exist. And I think also stating managers at the beginning, we may not giving permission to the group. We may not do all ideas. Let's just be yeah. really clear here. We're going to spit out a bunch of ideas. I think those in high end ideation are used to having their ideas thought about and ignored or not done because you're okay. You're going to give them more ideas than they could, they could ever achieve. Mm -hmm. That's not true for everybody, by the way. There are some who've thought through this who will say it. And if they, they say it, they think it should be done. And that's not always true either. Right. Yeah. So managers, if you're going to do something like this, I think, setting the stage to say, Hey, we're just, this is just some open concept stuff. This may or may not, there may be things that never that come from this. We're building an idea bank. Let's put them in the bank. Yes. We, may, we, we may or may not use them. I don't know. Any final thoughts as we wrap this up? No, I think that's, that's great. What you just said to preface those conversations. So um, if you have a lot of people that want to execute too. <laughs> They're not going to feel responsible or guilty if it's not carried out. It's like, these, this is just conceptual right now. You have activators that are not going to go get started. Exactly. So, prefacing the conversation, maybe that's the, the most pertinent piece we leave people with. <laughs> yeah. But no, this yeah. is such an inspiring and creative theme. And we, across all 34 themes, we see this as um, one that just has a lot of that creativity. And it brings a lot of energy in people, even just being within your vicinity because of the um, ideas that you have and the, the creative mind that you have, whether it's visual or more uh, verbal in nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. Love it. I love this theme. Love it. Well, with that, we'll remind everyone to take full advantage of all the resources we do have available instead of Gallup Access. Check it out. Gal uh, My.gallup.com. Uh, if you're high in ideation, you need some ideas, just click on the search button, put in this theme. All the resources we've done Maybe not all. Many of the resources we've done are available to you there. For coaching, master coaching, becoming a Gallup Certified Strengths Coach, send us an email. We do that. We can help you with that. Coaching at gallup.com. If you want to join us for the Gallup at Work 2024, and for those joining us in 2024, Jacqueline and I get to host the virtual part oh, yes. of that together, which will be super Ooh. awesome. We'll be, be there to get you in between the gaps, and that'll be a ton of fun. You can register today, Gallup at Work dot com stay up to date with all by the way we'd love to see you in person but if virtual is the only way that you can do it you'll join us for that we'd love to see you there stay up to date with all the future webcasts uh on our facebook groups or even on linkedin you can join us on any social platform by searching clifton strengths and if you enjoyed it share it we'd love you to have you share this opportunity with others uh and, and we appreciate you doing that hit the like and subscribe buttons and thanks for listening today if you are listening live stay around for a little bit of the post show with that we'll say goodbye everybody